एम के इज एनी थिंग एंड एवरी थिंग हेलो एंड ग्रीटिंग्स फॉर द डे एंड इंट्रोडक्शन टू आई एम डी एस इंटरनेशनल मटेरियल डेटा सिस्टम वॉट इज आई एम डी एस इट इज इंटरनेट बेस्ड ग्लोबल मटेरियल डेटा बेस इट इज क्रिएटेड बाय ऑटोमोटिव इंडस्ट्री इट डिफाइन्स द मटेरियल कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ ईच कंपोनेंट यूज इन अ फिनिश्ड व्हीकल देर आर वेरियस मेथड्स और सिस्टम्स और कोड्स फॉर मटेरियल आइडेंटिफिकेशन These systems are based on alphanumeric codes to convey specific information of material. These codes and numbering systems help to standardize and communicate information of materials, facilitates proper selection, manufacturing and quality control. Specific systems to be used as per the industry, region, type of required material, customer requirement and collaborators stipulation. For steel identification, either N or AISI, SA standards should be used. N means European norm series as name suggest is being used in Europe and as defined by European standards for example EN 10025 to 2 is a standard for general structural steel AISC or SAE steel numbering system used in North America is formulated by American Iron and Steel Institute and SAE Society of Automotive Engineers Aluminium Association Alloy Designation System assigns a four digit number to different alloys first digit indicates major alloy element for plastic identification resin identification code used to identify and sort plastic materials for copper identification unified numbering system developed by ASTM SAE and UNS provides classification for various coppers and its alloys for chemical substance identification CAS number assigns unique number to identify and track chemicals for electronic components either JEDEC or EIA systems are used when we have these systems in place and in use then why IMDS none of these systems stipulates about disposal of material and hazardous materials implementing IMDS helps vehicle manufacturers to meet end of life vehicles directive of EU It helps to minimize environmental impact of ELV. It defines manufacturer's responsibility for recycling of ELV and components. It bans, controls or limits use of dangerous substances and restricted materials in components and new vehicles. It provides classification of danger levels of materials and disposition of materials used. It helps for other compliance requirements as stipulated by their country, region or reach regulations. REACH is a regulation of European Union adopted to improve the protection of human health and the environment from the risks posed by chemicals. Any company to meet existing legal requirements is expected to reuse or recycle 95% of material used and therefore must recognize the exact content of the materials used in the entire vehicle. A bit about IMDS. An initial joint project by the companies like Audi, BMW, Daimler Chrysler, Ford Motor, Opel Porsche, Volvo, VW and EDS now known as DXC over the years the original project expanded to include almost all automobile manufacturers regardless of location DXC hosts central secure and cloud based database for automobile and parts manufacturers standardizing the process and efficient data collection why to use IMDS It help vehicle manufacturer to report on the content or materials used in the vehicle to satisfy the various legal requirements of the world which varies from nation to nation. Moreover, certain nations stipulate the material recyclability and reuse mandatory requirements. Number 3, each manufacturer will be required to develop and implement effectively own system to meet respective legal requirements. Instead, a group of manufacturers decided to develop a common system to meet mandatory requirements of entire automotive supply chain and that is IMDS a new standard for the automotive industry what is the cost of IMDS use of browser based IMDS is free for the supply chain of IMDS members or registered companies however a vehicle manufacturer or original equipment manufacturer needs to obtain a license for using imds platform or system for their supply chain and supply partners what it needs is a computer browser and access to the internet to enter data to imds no software installation onto a user's pc required thereby eliminating the need of specific pc hardware and operating software version but yes 
what one need to have been an active email account which does not block emails from INDS. Material Data Sheet or NDS is the heart of INDS. NDS is used to transfer material information from suppliers to customers. NDS is just like a container holding assemblies, components, materials and substances. It's an organized list with all desired information such as specific names, part numbers, norms, standards and weights. NDS can provide referencing to other materials or components. It provides a complete list of ingredients with their quantities or weights in a component or assembly. It makes possible to add further requirements such as quality parameters or attributes. But attention! NDS is not MSDS or Material Safety Data Sheet. It does not indicate explosives, dangerous petroleum fraction present in the raw form. How the material information is transferred from suppliers to customers? As seen earlier, obviously through MDS. Substance MDS are made and referred in the material MDS. Material MDS are referred in component MDS. Component MDS are referred in small or sub-assemblies MDS. Sub-assembly MDS are referred in main assembly MDS. And finally, main assembly MDS are referred in finish vehicle MDS. To explain it further and make it simpler, please refer the following sketch. Below sketch does not require any explanation. It shows how MDS flow from tier 3 suppliers to OEM and how a MDS tree is being formed. We will discuss this tree concept again. Consider MDS is just like a tree. Remember, each level consists of the same type of MDS. It will not allow to have substance and material MDS at the same level. Level 1 and 2 are the components MDS. Level 3 are the materials MDS. Level 4 or the bottom most are basic substance MDS. Means a tree is formed from bottom that is basic substance to the peak that is finish final vehicle. This tree concept is further explained in the next example sketch. I do not think that any explanation is required for this example sketch. Whatever tree concept we discussed till now has been displayed in the pictorial form in the sketch. MDS permits only certain types of children's as explained in the table. Also to be noted that basic substance MDS can not have children and even not other basic substance. If these guidelines not followed, MDS will have an error tag. Supplier will not be able to send this MDS with error to customer. Hence, one need to study, think properly before starting of making an MDS. Each OEM receives components or assemblies from 100 tier 1 suppliers with MDS for each component. These are further referenced into a vehicle MDS resulting in a single component vehicle MDS of about 100 component MDS. Each tier 1 supplier receives component assemblies and components from tier 2 supplier. Again, each of them with MDS and in turn same will be referenced by tier 1 in their MDS for further inclusion in the vehicle MDS. In just two tiers, have about 10,000 MDS included in the vehicle MDS with each company providing only one MDS. This has to continue down till all components to the last basic substance have been added. It's worth to note. In the reality each company probably supplies more than one item and hence will be creating more than one MDS. MDS referencing structure permits identification of entire vehicle content without having too many in one and also without complication. Please take few minutes to go through the below example from a real life. No need to explain. This concludes the introduction of IMDS or MDS being a very vast subject have touched just the tip of iceberg. One need to study it thoroughly, get accustomed to all terms, definitions, requirements of supplier and or customer before really able to put this system in effective use. Thank you for your time and attention.